What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mandarin Metal and today we are playing Phasmophobia but we are looking at eight ghosts that we can easily identify without any sort of evidence. So before we get into the video you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe and yeah if you want to see more content. So let's get into this video. Let's have a look at these eight ghosts. So what we have here is we've got the motion sensor. We're going to place the motion sensor down. Then we're going to take salt. We're going to try and see if this is a wraith. The best way to do this is with a motion sensor and the salt. If the ghost walks through and it gets the motion sensor beep, it's very distinctive. So you will be able to hear it. Um, and the salt is not disturbed. You then know you have a wraith on your hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you this ability in practice and we will layer a couple of salt piles around the house kind of showing you what to expect with the wraith here we're going to get the ghost to hunt us we want to get it to walk through the motion sensor okay now okay guys now what we do is you can see here the salt is all it's not disturbed at all and this exactly what I was saying in the beginning is when you have salt that is not disturbed you have the motion sensor that has gone off the ghost has clearly walked through the salt you know it is a wraith and there we go that's our first wraith that's a way that's one of the ways we can identify the wraith uh, without any evidence um, to just help you on those no evidence runs um, let's head over to the next investigation Alrighty guys, we have been blessed with the beautiful opportunity of actually discovering the ghost. Now, here we have two options. It could be a Diogen and a Thay. The best thing about a Dio is if we get the Dio, when it is close to us, it is super, super slow. And you can never hide from the Dio. So don't even think about looking for a hiding spot. It's, it's useless. And now with the Thay, one of the one of the abilities about a Thay, uh, of uh, one of the abilities of a Thay, is um, the more you are in the room that it is in, it the it ages. So it, I think it's every two minutes it does age, which means that um, it becomes a lot slower. Uh, in the beginning, it will be super active. And then it becomes slower and slower and slower. See, look at that. That is a prime example of a Diogen. Dios are very fast when uh, when you're far when they when you're far away like this. So you see, you have a bit of a range. I think we have two meters, and as soon as you get out of that range, the speed increases. So you can just infinitely loop it. Look at you. Hello, Dio. And that is a prime example of a Dioja. Okay. Don't even have to use a smudge stick, but they're always useful. Let's circle Dio because we know what it is. Let's get out of here and hopefully we can identify the next ghost. Okay, guys. The next ghost that we can pretty much identify without any sort of evidence is actually a Hantu. Now, um, it doesn't always happen, but there's a distinct feature um, when the Hantu hunts. Um, it's a visual feature that when it hunts, it actually leaves off cold breath. Now, also it's something to take note of that in colder areas, the Hantu will be a lot quicker, but when it is warm, the Hantu will slow down. So what we've got is we've got the Voodoo doll here. We're going to cause a hunt and we're going to see if we can actually identify it without any evidence and see if we can see the breath that it leaves behind when it is hunting. Okay, see you in the hunt. And already you can hear the speed of the Hantu. It's very quick. And now it is slower. Unfortunately, we don't see the breath over here. We will have to try and get it to hunt us again. Ooh. Okay. Change to... Now what's nice about the tier 3 is that it just the tier three incense it just locks that ghost in place now this is a cursed hunt so it is a little bit longer than other hunt okay well i've just wasted a tier three incense 
Let's see if we can see the Hantu ability now. Come on. See how quick it is in that cold temperature. And then it gets up here. There we go. It leaves behind breath. Right there. There. That's how we are able to identify a Hantu. Let us just get out of here now. And there we go. I'll see you guys in the next uh, investigation. So the next ghost we are able to identify without any evidence is actually the mayor. Now, right there is the mayor's ability. It is when a player tries to switch the light on, but it immediately switches it off. Okay, let's see if we can get it again. Let's see over here. So pretty much what you can do is when you are suspecting it could be a mayor, is just to play with the lights like this, do it like every five seconds. It's best done in the ghost room. Now, another ghost that you guys can find without any evidence is a revenant. So with the revenant, it picks at the speed of the revenant, something that you need to note, uh, take note of. Again, okay. uh, the revenant is a very quick ghost, but as soon as you hide from the revenant, um, it is going to slow down completely like it's going to be very slow so i'm going to show you a hunt now um show you the speed of the revenant we've got three in tier three incense over here now the this is just going to lock the revenant in place and also just give us that um that that time to just gauge and see the, the how quick it is and then i want to show you what happens when i do end up hiding and what happens with the revenant so let's have a look see how quick the revenant is see how quick it is now when we if you listen how slow it's become sorry i did panic there a little it becomes super slow which means that you can identify it as be, it being a revenant. Uh, it's very quick when it's hunting you and it has line of sight. It's very difficult to get away from the revenant. But when there is no hunt or when there is a hunt, but you are hiding, nice and easy to identify. So this is just another uh, useful tip for when you are doing your no evidence runs and when you are um, doing higher difficulties where you're kind of stuck between some of the ghosts. Let's get out of here and we'll get into the next one. The next uh, ghost that we can identify without any evidence is actually an Oni. And this is when it starts hunting. When an Oni hunts, it's, I call it the Oni flash. Um, it has, it flickers a lot quicker than normal ghosts. So let's get this hunt down and then we can have a look at how it, how an Oni hunts and the, um, the, how quick that flash is. Okay, let's get in there. Okay, so here we can see, look at how quickly it is moving and how quick that flash is. This shows us that it's the only, we can see it a lot more than other ghosts. Let's get out of here. So the next ghost that we are able to identify without any sort of evidence is your Banshee. Now, that right there is what we call the Banshee scream. If you hear that, you can pretty much identify the Banshee fairly easily. Um, it's very distinct. It's very creepy. Um, so you grab one piece of equipment you grab the parabolic mic and then you get that banjo scream let's see if we can actually get it another time and then yeah this will help you if you have are doing no evidence runs or if you're stuck between those pesky pesky ghosts where you only get two pieces of evidence or even just one piece of evidence let's see if we can get it again now that we found the ghost room the uh, ghost room is in the back here the ghost room is in the back here okay we found the ghost room we know what ghost it is so the best way we're looking at a phantom now there's two ways we can actually identify a phantom the first one is if you actually take a photo of it so if we have our photo cam and there's a ghost event best thing to do is snap a picture if it disappears um you're most likely dealing with a phantom if you get the ghost photo but it doesn't show up in the picture you're dealing with the phantom there's also another 
way to see if we have a phantom and that is actually during our hunt so what we're going to do is we're going to actually cause a hunt and i'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on uh, i've just taken a picture which is lovely let's do this we've got the curse mirror we're going to stand here there we go okay so when the, when a phantom hunts there's actually a long delay between when you see the ghost and when you don't see the ghost okay where are you come here come here so you'll see now when it gets close to us you see there look at the flash of the phantom look how long the delay is between it it's almost as if you can't see it so that is the best way to identify a phantom is the the flash between structure so yes that flash between the first flash and that second flash there's that there's a long delay and that's the best way you can also identify a phantom so we know now it's a phantom hunt should be over and we can get out of here and there you have it guys those were the eight ghosts that we could easily identify without any sort of evidence i hope you enjoyed the video like i said at the beginning if you like the video hit that like button if you want to just like it go for it but if you want to subscribe see more content you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next video cheers peace guys bye